gnome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another Inform Review. Today we've got the Silver Beast, the Silver Tank, the Silver Godzilla, whatever the hell you want to call him. It's not because of KSI in calling him a beast and a tank. It is because he is literally a beast and a tank and Godzilla and whatever other behemoth of a man you want to call him because he's so damn fast, so damn strong, and he's got one hell of a long shot on him. He's got four-star skills, four-star weak foot, and because of all that, he's going to set you back 700k on the Xbox. 500k there or thereabouts on the PlayStation in terms of stats you're looking at ball control at 69 so not the best in the world dribbling 79 finishing of 78 long shot 77 and shot power of 79 so in terms of stats bloody fantastic medium to medium work rates and that is what it's all about acceleration 93 sprint speed 90 and strength of 85 my good god he is so good on the wing and being primarily right foot you cut inside and you take sighters with his right foot this was eight minutes into his debut and I cracked one off the crossbar I came so damn close to scoring there I thought you know what I'm gonna give this another go in the same game a bit later on I thought I'm just gonna run this wing try and cut inside work the room for the shot and this time it paid off it paid off big time what a strike that was from Mikel Antonio right into the top corner so straight away I was in love with this card simply because of all of these pros Power, pace, dribble and long shots and agility so you can kind of dive, you can kind of just zigzag through players at times. His skills of four star make him so good on the ball. His ball control isn't the best in the world so in terms of close control that is a con and his positioning isn't the best in the world. But he will arrive in the penalty area late if you do want to stand the ball up so you can attack it like the goal you've just seen. He comes in like a bloody steam engine at times and just goes bang, get out the way and he does smash it into the back back the net so guys he's a tank <laughs> I didn't want to say that too often in this episode but that is the word you can describe this guy with he is a tank he's just gonna power past everyone on the game with his pace with his strength he's just gonna say oi mate get out the way I'm coming through and I'm gonna score because my finishing is bloody excellent in terms of pros you're looking at his power it is what was it 85 or something like that in terms of strength so strong and when you've got the pace and you've got the strength you can literally hold off anyone on the game and and just go past them but I found them to be more effective against silver players rather than gold I came up against a number of teams and against gold right backs like Pizcek he did struggle in terms of just holding them off at times even though he's got great strength his close control isn't the best in the world so in terms of dribbling don't go into the slow dribble just run with the ball and uh, try and just run past players and that will work in terms of his dribble and that is why dribbling is a pro close control is a con his other pros long shots you've seen the strikes at the start of this episode they were fantastic his agility is great he's like a ballerina on steroids he's just gonna power past anyone and dance past them with a certain swagger and his skills are great as well so guys all in all this is a great card it's gonna set you back a ton though so for me he's getting a 9.2 overall rating and 9 out of 10 stars guys that would be about it smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you're not already subscribed and as always I will catch you all next time lads